This video is a brief introduction to the Gator G-Track server platform. This presentation will endeavour to cover creating an account, adding tracking objects to an account and basic troubleshooting. This presentation covers the server platform only. It is presumed your installation is complete. If you have a G-Track 4QB or G-Track Pro, the green, blue and red LEDs should all be solidly lit when the car's ignition system is on. Special attention should be given to the green LED status. If your device is not connecting to the cell network correctly, it will not be able to communicate with the server. If any of the LEDs are flashing, this indicates a possible problem with the product or its installation and not the tracking platform. The first step is to set up an account on our server. Take your browser to gator.net.au so that you see the server login page as shown here. You are entitled to one account with up to three devices linked to that account. If you wish to track more than three objects or you want to use this service for business, you will need to become a subscriber. We will discuss this in more detail later. For now, let's just start by setting up an account. Click on Create Account. Then enter your email address as shown here. Before pressing register, you must agree to the terms of service. It is important to understand these terms as a failure to comply with the terms of service may result in a suspension or removal of your account. You have now successfully made an account. Now, press OK. Check your email. You should have received this message from our server listing your username and your temporary password. We recommend you change this password from the My Account tab page once logged into the server. You may notice your email address is your username. Now, return to the login page on your browser. Press Login. Now type in your username and password, then press the blue Login button. We are now ready to add a tracking device to your account. These devices are called objects. On the left hand side of the map screen, there are an array of buttons that turn on and off certain features on the map. At the top of the list is a button labelled Objects. Make sure this is on. This allows you to see objects on the map screen after you add them. Now, press Add Object. Type in the name of the object. It's up to you to choose what you wish to name it. Now type in the IME number of your device. The IME number is listed on the gift box next to the barcode. If you no longer have the gift box, the IME number can be located on the back of the device itself. Only Gator branded devices can be added to the Gator server. Non-Gator IME numbers will be rejected. You can add the device as a subscribe device using the subscribe now button or as a free device by selecting the add free button. Please note, free tracking services are restricted to a maximum of three devices for non-commercial use. However, businesses can add up to three devices free to a single account for the purposes of trialling the tracking service. Any attempt to circumvent the account and device limit will result in the deletion of your free account. If your device has been added successfully and it has made contact with the server, it will appear as a red or green arrow on the map. If you click on the object icon, the map will zoom to the object and locate your view from the object. If you wish to follow the object, make sure there is a tick in the Follow checkbox. A red arrow on the map indicates the object is stationary. A green arrow indicates it is on the move. If you click on the object arrow, detailed information is displayed about the object. If you're not getting a tracking fix on your object and you received this message, you may have a problem. 
This message indicates that the device is not communicating with the server. There are a number of reasons why this may be the case. If you are using a legacy model device such as the G-Track 3G or G-Track 4G, please note that these devices are not programmed to communicate with this particular server. If you have one of these devices, this is the reason you are getting this message. You can migrate them over to this server, however, we no longer recommend you do so as it is not a simple process for most users to undertake. We advise all G-Track 3G and 4G users to use the assigned server as mentioned in the instruction manual. We no longer provide technical support to migrate these devices to this server. If you wish to try and migrate your device, the instructions to do so can be found using the help system under Migrate. Another common issue with non-communication is the SIM card and its activation status. If you are using your own SIM card and you appear to have no data coming from the device, you should try to ensure that the SIM card is working and able to transmit data. Some SIM cards may take up to 24 hours to activate. If you are using a Gator SIM, the SIM card is automatically activated when the device first powers on and communicates with the cellular network. There is no sign-up contract required. Gator SIM activation generally happens within a few minutes of device power on. However, it may take up to half an hour. If the SIM card is operating correctly, the GSM LED indicator will be on without flashing shortly after power up. Aside from the system message, if you click on the gear icon next to your object and select edit, then select info, the object's vital signs can be viewed under parameters. If there is no data here, this also suggests that there is an installation or SIM card issue. Finally, we will now discuss subscription services. You may recall when we added the device, we were given a choice whether to subscribe the device or add it free. The following is a guide to making the correct choice. Consider the following questions. Are you using the trackers on a personal or family vehicle? Do you have three or less objects you wish to track? Do you intend to use your own SIM card and manage the SIM card service yourself? If you answer yes to all of these questions, you are not required to subscribe your devices, but you may still choose to opt in to a subscription. Alternatively, are you using the trackers for business, on a business vehicle or business asset? Do you have four or more objects you wish to track? Do you require more than four months of tracking history? If you answer yes to any of these questions, you are required to subscribe your devices. However, we do allow business customers to still have up to three devices unsubscribed at any one time to help manage a predominantly subscribed fleet. We also allow new business users a grace period to evaluate fleet tracking from a single account with up to three objects temporarily. This grace period is provided on the basis that the business intends to subscribe the devices or remove them when the evaluation is complete. This evaluation must be done within a reasonable period of time. Device subscription can be done when you originally add the device or later from the object tab in the settings menu. If you are subscribing and using your own SIM card, you will receive the following pop-up window asking you to confirm that you are using your own SIM card. If you are, press yes. If you receive this message and you are using a Gator SIM card, do not go any further. This message indicates that the system has not detected an active Gator SIM in your device. Press cancel if this is the case. If you have a Gator provided SIM, you must activate the SIM card first before subscribing. This requires the SIM card to be installed into your device and the device to have been turned on and working at least once before you try to subscribe. The subscription cost per device is due annually in advance. If you are using a Gator included SIM, it may come with included coverage. In this case, any unused network coverage value is subtracted from the total annual subscription fee. For example, if the card has 9 months included network coverage and you have been using the device without subscribing for 3 months, you therefore have 6 months coverage for which you will be credited pro rata. For this example, you will only pay for 6 months to cover you for the next 12 months as a subscriber. 
This figure is automatically calculated as a pro rata coupon. After a successful transaction, you will receive the following message. That's it for now. I hope you have found this video somewhat informative. If you have any questions or feedback, please do not hesitate to leave us your comments below. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.